Peter, first off, when we think about the uh, way forests are discussed in this process, is, is there enough focus on forests? What, what's the kind of role in forests in um, combating deforestation in uh, dealing with climate change? Well, obviously, there is a lot of focus on forests, and it has been for a number of years, and the Red Plus process is really moving forward quite, uh, quite well. Mm -hmm. A number of decisions are expected this time around, and that is all good. My uh, thinking, though, is that it is time to put RED a little bit in a context, mm -hmm. because implementing RED means that we have to look outside the forest, and we have to bring in agriculture and other land uses into the solutions. And how, how do we do that? Is that done at a national level, at a regional level? How, how, do, you, how do you change people's thinking about, uh, about forests and, and RED in particular? I think the first step is to realize that it is not agriculture against forestry. We really have to work together between agriculture and forestry. And we do that through what we call a landscapes approach. We had a meeting this weekend that we called the Global Landscapes Forum. Mm -hmm. And that was uh, the combination of what used to be one forest day and one agriculture day. This time around we brought it together and we had a combined conference for combined solutions. Mm -hmm. And what were the key messages that, that, that came out of that? Because clearly there is a, there is a conflict there to, a, to an extent that you see some of the big rainforests in the world, in the Congo rainforest, Indonesia, Brazil, you have big palm oil plantations, soya, and you have rainforests being knocked down to cope with the greater demands from people for those products. So what, what were the key messages that came out of that meeting? Uh, media is always uh, happy to bring up the conflicts because that makes better media and gets more attention. Uh, it is really time to look at the combined solutions. I'm not saying that there are win-wins all over the place, but we need to approach those synergies that we can and we need to approach the trade-offs in, in a way that doesn't threaten other development objectives. Mm -hmm. Because after all, uh, mitigating climate change is one among several development goals. So in terms of that, are there any particular projects you'd highlight in terms of um, people who own forests and people who are into farming um, working together to sort of preserve natural habitats better? Is there anything you could pick out either from Brazil, Indonesia or, or any other countries where C4 is working? There are actually, it's not just C4, there are actually many, many examples of landscape approaches mm -hmm. over the past decades. Um, these have been done in roughly the same way. It's about figuring out uh, how the government governance and the stakeholder engagement should happen at the landscape level. But it has also been done in a slightly fragmented uh, way. And, and the purpose of having a landscapes forum is to begin to have a common language and a common ground about what landscapes are and how to address the objectives in a more holistic way. In terms of the uh, Red Plus process, can you just give us a, your quick thoughts on how you'd like to see that progress at this conference? Obviously, we all want to have decisions on Red Plus and move along uh, the, decision, the, the negotiation path. I don't have any, any particular suggestions to make. Um, if I could have a wish, then it would be that the context of the landscape is brought into the, la to the red picture, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, deforestation is expanding agriculture and, um, and unless therefore we involve agriculture in the solutions we won't get there.